Hello all and welcome to tonight's review which I am dubbing the post-election day review. Yesterday was of course the election. Um, unlike the vast majority of Americans, I wasn't very highly invested in the presidential election. I was actually more invested in the mayoral election for the county of Honolulu because that actually has more bearing on my life than whatever the president does. I know, probably a little bit weird sounding to you, but um, it is what it is. Anyways, probably a lot of people drinking last night, drinking tonight, um, either out of joy or out of despair. I am drinking out of the sheer love of drinking. <clears throat> Excuse me, I had a very spicy dinner. Kung Pao chicken. Anyways, getting to tonight's beer. Tonight's beer is... Lagunitas Tuberfest. This is um, <clears throat> part of their 2016 one-hitter series. And, <clears throat> excuse me. And let's read the label, shall we, even though it's not really um, informative one. During the Dark Age reign of Sirloin the Beef, Germanic warlords imported Irish slaves to work their potato plant plantations. Which makes no sense, because potatoes are like a New World crop. So they weren't around until after the medieval times. But um, again, this is supposed to be a joke, but not a very good one. The Irishmen celebrated the harvest with a unique fermented potato beer from which rose to cry, Oktoberfest. I'm a person who likes puns, and then that one was just set up. S that one was, yeah, yeah. Anyways, whatever. What this beer is, no, it's not a potato beer. Um, I hope to review that um, a potato beer from Japan one day, but that's the only potato beer that I know of. But this is actually a Marzen slash Oktoberfest style. And as with most Lagunitas beers, heavily hopped with that distinctive Lagunitas um, hopping blend, uh, which I've mentioned before. So. At 7.5 ABV is actually <clears throat> kind of um, on the heavy side, so you'll probably only want one or two of these. Actually, actually, I was actually really duly impressed with this. Nice copper color, so on the darker side of the Marzins, the Marzins color scale, with a um, beige white, almost off white to almost yellow head. It's pretty thick, somewhat carbonated. And you definitely get that distinctive dank smell. That um, dank hop smell that you get from most of the Lagunitas heavily hopped beers. Also strong tropical fruits. Underneath that a very sweet and bready, um, sweet and bready malt. Just hints of woodiness, almost like cedar wood. Maybe almost a hint of, um, you know, dried fruit. Not as much as, say, like a darker winter beer, but definitely a little bit of dried fruit in there. Really interesting interplay on the tongue. This one's fairly complex. There's actually quite a bit to suss out here. This one I let warm up a little bit, so, um, you know... Colors can, you know, those taste flavors can burst a little bit. Colors taste. <laughs> Boy, going to soup full synthesia here. Synthe, synthe, the, synthe. What's the word for sen when you have one sense that comes across as another sense? Immediately in the front, you get some nice fruity hops and some bitterness. Then almost immediately, as it moves into the mids, get this 
bready taste right on the palate, right underneath all that hop taste. As you swallow and it goes down your throat, those wood tastes kind of come out. And then interestingly, finish. Lots of interplay in between sweet malts on your tongue. Almost caramelly, almost maybe even raisiny. Not really heavy raisin, but wood, raisin. And a lingering bitterness, but not all that lingering. It's actually very well balanced from what seems to be uh, a malting that's quite heavy in residual sugars. It's a very interesting, like wood, hop bitterness, sweetness, malt sweetness that just all three of them kind of linger there on your palate, and it's just kind of interesting after you're done drinking it. None of them are really overwhelming. It doesn't feel like your tongue is being coated. I would have to say that there is, it's probably sweeter than most Marzins would technically be. Um, it's probably necessary to do that to go and balance out that hot bitterness. Now you also get those really um, effervescent dank notes too in the mids. The finish on your mouth is almost actually kind of reminiscent of, um, you know, bourbon, to tell the truth. Yeah, definitely. fairly interesting beer. So, in summation, I'm actually going to, I had one bottle left of uh, <coughs> Hopsite, which is a sort of hopped up the shoots take on the Marzen style, and I'm going to be doing a side-by-side -side comparison uh, next week on that, because I'm actually uh, really curious. They're both, you know, sort of cross- Cross, crossovers of you know in American style India Pale Ale and the, the Oktoberfest style Marzen, but they're both taking it in very different directions. I would have to say, well, I'm probably going to save that for the actual review, but I have to say that this one is probably pushing the envelope a lot more in regards to Oktoberfest style. It's distinctly. Um, it's distinctly a Marzen, you can definitely tell by that breadiness, but other than that, it's definitely leaning more towards the IPA side of things, but we'll see that in, when I do the comparison one, because this is actually a very interesting little style. That said, like most IPAs, I don't think IPAs go and pair too well with foods. And a Marzen IPA probably would not pair well with, say, like Wiener Schnitzel and Potato Salad, like a true Oktoberfest uh, Marzen style beer would. That said, really interesting. So it's really, as it warms up to, it's getting, it's starting to get some juicy notes in the finish there as well. Um, <clears throat> as I said, really interesting beer. Lagunitas Tuberfest. Basically a Marzen American IPA. I guess IPL would probably be more correct because Mars I'm pretty sure that there's still Marzen style lager and still pretty clean finish too. Um 
definitely something to go and try if you like heavily hopped beers or if you like the Marzen style. Uh, I do enjoy the Marzen style and I do enjoy what Lagunitas did to kind of bring this about and I'm looking forward to um, doing a comparison of two beers of a similar hybrid style. Definitely go out and get yourself some while this is still on the shelf. Mia's Tuberfest. That's your beer review for tonight, folks. Cheers.